everyone. Hello. Hey guys. It's the Toy Box Sisters here. And, and today, today, we're here with our third episode of Toy Box Sisters Custom Palooza, featuring our newest custom, Granny Smith. If you guys remember Toy Box Sisters Custom Palooza, it was supposed to be the series where we make one video every Friday um, <laughs> showcasing our customs. Um, uh, we totally make one every week, guys. We're taking the series out of hiatus. <laughs> it wasn't even supposed to be in hiatus in the first place. I'm so sorry. Um, but we're working on a new custom, and she's just taking forever because we're learning how to rehair ponies. So we don't have to paint their hair anymore, and we don't get like this gross kind of thing. But until then, we're still gonna have to paint their hair or just make it out of Play-Doh, right, Sweetberry? Exactly. So if you guys remember Granny Smith, we did have her for a while. She was in our um, custom collection video, which we have to make another custom collection update video as well. But she looked kind of crusty. She was green and she looked a bit strange. We're gonna have like a throwback picture. Um, but now we got this really cool apple barrel paint um, called um, Lime Sorbet or Lime Sherbet. I don't know how to pronounce things. Um, we originally painted her with Lime Tree, which this time we used it for the wrinkles um, on her eyelids and under her eyelids and under her um, mouth and stuff. <laughs> we actually added like to her legs with Play-Doh to make it look like she has joints that oh, kind of stick yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. We made her shawl out of orange Play-Doh and um, paper that we put on with a marker and then her um, eyes have been fixed and we put a solid black line there with again eyeliner. <laughs> they look so much better than before. Yes, very much so. A definite upgrade. Her hair is also kind of grayer than it was and it has like little parts of it that stick up. We're still trying to get her tail um, in shape like an old grandma. They don't brush their hair very much. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Smith fits in really nicely with all our other members of the Apple family. Our lightly customized Applejack and our quite heavily customized Big Mac. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Custom Palooza is going to start up again. Sorry for the delay, but we're learning how to rehair ponies. So maybe the next custom that you see, actually probably won't be the next custom, but the next few customs that you see on the series will have rehaired hair. Yup. <laughs> That's the hope. Granny Smith makes a wonderful addition to our My Little Pony collection. But she's a little bit, um, big for an old pony. Yeah, well, when Hasbro comes out with an old granny mold, Please tell us. Um, we didn't really want to make her out of Play-Doh because, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've experimented with Play-Doh ponies before, and you can see how that turned out. And he just fell, which uh, further proves our point. <laughs> so looks like now we have the completed Apple family, and they're ready to raise this barn. Yeah. Raise this barn, raise this barn, one, two, three, four, together we can raise this barn, one, two, three, four. So we hope you enjoyed this episode of Toy Box Sisters Custom Palooza, and don't worry, we're going to have more episodes of it coming out every Friday, hopefully from now on. <laughs> if you have any suggestions for customs for us to make in the future, like this awesome Granny Smith, uh, let us know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And as always, um, stay awesome. Toy Box Sisters, signing out. Finger wave. Finger wave. Bye. Bye.